This is the Willys Go Devil Jeep Engine. Sponsored by KaiserWillys.com. Get your free parts catalog today. Okay, so we're going to be looking at this 1946 Willys CJ2A restored by Mike Meditz of KaiserWillys.com. And there it is. This is the heart of the world's first four-wheel drive Jeep. This is the Go Devil. You'll find it in all 1941 to 53 Willys Jeep vehicles, including the military, civilian Jeeps, trucks, wagons, and Jeepsters. It's a small four-cylinder, 134 cubic inch L-head engine. It has a powerful 60 horsepower, 105 pounds of foot torque, and 6.48 to one compression ratio. I don't know if you know this, but you can now get this engine brand new. There are a couple serial number locations on the L-head. One is behind the water pump on the front of the block, and then there's another one behind the starting motor um, on the right-hand side of the vehicle. Like I said, this is an L-head engine. That means the spark plugs are on top of a flathead cylinder uh, rather than the F-head, which is on the side. Now, whenever you put this head down, there is a sequencing that you're going to want to put down with your head bolts, so make sure that you get that done correctly. Okay, this is the left-hand side of the motor where you can find your exhaust and your fuel systems. Uh, it uses an oil bath that you're going to want to try and keep clean about every 2,000 miles or so. It'll really help to keep your nice new rebuilt Carter WO carburetor clean and running smooth. And it receives its fuel through a fuel pump running through these nice steel lines. I don't know if I already said this, but we have new L-head bare blocks. We have complete overhaul kits. You can have a brand new engine today. Okay, so this is the right-hand side of the motor. This is where most of your electrical is gonna be. You can see you've got your distributor and your generator, voltage regulator, and your battery will be over here. This protective plate's gonna help from anything getting up here and ripping any of these wires out. And you can see the uh, fan belt there. Uh, you can also see the original Fram style oil canister assembly, which you want to change the element about every 6,000 miles. And lastly, the L head cooling system. This is 11 or 12 quart, depending on whether you have a heater. Um, you're going to want to check this twice a year to make sure you're not leaking any uh, antifreeze. Okay, so lots of times I'm not even sure what things are called. So if you're having that problem, we have a feature called Shot by Diagram at KaiserWillies.com. And what it's going to allow you to do is you don't know what it's called, but you know what it looks like. You can just use this diagram, point at the number, and it'll tell you what the part is called and how to get it. And if you have any other questions, please call us at 1-888-648-4923 or email us at mike at kaiserwillies.com. And as always, you can order 24-7 online at www.kaiserwillies.com. Just in case I forgot to tell you, we have brand new Ford 134L engine bare blocks for sale. Get yours today at kaiserwillies.com.